2022. We're hearing from both candidates running for Florida governor. Charlie Crist and Nikki Freed both holding separate events in South Florida today. Local 10's Christina Vasquez tells us what they had to say. Christina. That and new tonight, we're hearing from an analyst who explains why, in his point of view, it could be a tough road for these Democratic challengers. We're going to talk about the issues that are actually impacting people's lives. Florida's lone statewide elected Democrat, Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed. We're here in Miami-Dade. Uh, we know that we have a housing crisis. Broward's so important, and I have so many dear friends here. I call it beautiful Broward. And former Florida Republican governor turned Democrat and now U.S. Representative Charlie Crist. Running against Ron DeSantis, I think the people deserve better, and they deserve a choice. And in South Florida Thursday afternoon, the two leading Democratic challengers in the upcoming gubernatorial election glad handing ahead of the upcoming August primary and telling local 10 News why they think their campaigns have a shot at unseating Florida's heavyweight incumbent, Ron DeSantis. The governor has dropped the ball on the things that are actually important to the people of our state. How good of a job do you think they've done in articulating a unique platform beyond just we're not Ron DeSantis? Not really well because it's hard for them to break through the, the noise that DeSantis has been throwing up. With DeSantis' focus on being the front man for a conservative agenda squarely focused on headline grabbing and fundraise fueling cultural issues. Plays well with the voters he needs to gain re-election in, in November. NSU political scientist Charles Zeldin says beyond overcoming the national spotlight controversial legislation garners him, candidates vying for his seat are up against a widening fundraising gap. He's got the lead on the other, on the Democratic candidates. But more than that, he's got an energized base that's willing to give. And at the end of the day, you will decide. So working with the digital team, if you go to our website, that's local10.com, we've been building uh, links to voter resources. This includes some key upcoming dates for voter registration ahead of the August primary and then, of course, the general election in November. Reporting live for you tonight, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.